Welcome back. It's been like two months. Uh, we left. I, we left off in a rough spot. I'm realizing. Uh, yeah, we all got arms. Let's go fight a boss fight with no with the protagonist KO'd. No, I, I think we should probably go find a way to fix ourselves. I don't first. know how. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at my items while we were setting up. I don't have oh. a revive item. I don't. It's been two months. And I don't know where I am. <laughs> Let's go get killed by this robot. Not robot. What the fuck? Is that a robot? I, I was just rooted. I was just looking at monster from stuff. In the wrong word. <laughs> the painted sky <laughs> should tell you everything. She does not belong to you. This is the last blood moon tree, and I shall not let you take her. The synthing is loud. We don't want the blood moon tree, though, dude. So uh, things are going well. All my organs are on the outside. I read that it's bag sweat. <laughs> what? Bag, bag swat. <laughs> <laughs> I have no I have no SP and no health. Uh, kill me. I guess I should have healed first. Yes, that's what I was saying. Yeah. No, I mean like I should have uh, I should have used some of these healing ones on my guys, but like I can't I can't actually recover Brad or get to like like I don't know how to get to like a place where I could heal. Fuck! I have to relearn every single character, and they don't have SP anyway, so I guess I'll just. You can't attack, actually. Shit. I guess you'll attack. I wish this was like... I'm in trouble. Yeah, I think you're kind of fucked. We're in Keith. trouble. Keith, we're, like, we're gonna lose this match. Not yeah, no, I, no, I mean like the series is in trouble. It's not only because it felt like we were in deep shit for finishing it before, because of how bad things were going, but I don't know how to play the game now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I genuinely... I, it's not good. Christmas season uh, hit us hard, bros. <laughs> yeah. Cool, full heal on the guy that can't attack. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh, Keith. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've missed this. <laughs> I just miss watching Keith suffer. I don't even know what to, where to go to try to improve the situation. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Uh, maybe we should go for a walk. Uh, shit. He's healing. He keeps healing himself. Fuck it. Just keep... Just keep killing me. Why are you so bad at killing the guy that can't fight? Yeah, paralyze... Poke me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop paralyze poking me! Kill me! Please kill me. Paralyze my heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, yeah, that. kick stop my heart. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Th this happened about how I thought it was gonna. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, is it. Let's just. Ow. <laughs> I was like, when is it gonna hurt? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like, none of these jumps are hurting me. God, I think I had to fight a bunch of random encounters on the way up this, too. This whole act is gonna be a lot of repeated content and me being confused and struggling. <laughs> So just buckle up, bitches. Buckle up, buttercups. Fuck. Was there random encounters on the way up here, or were these fixed encounters? Um, I, I feel like remember. they were fixed encounters. Well, at least, well... I think they were. Can we not even go back? <laughs> oh, well, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 So things are good. Wow. Wait, no, I think I saw it. You think you saw something? Yeah. In the vague, like, fucking, like, you know when you look at a... When you look at it, almost like an old Game Boy stuff, like if you look at a, uh, certain screens at certain angles, like different elements of the black, like go from being black back to being brighter again on the from the way you're looking at the screen. And yeah. They, like, they, like that, that weird effect happens. I think I saw a hole. Ow. I just remember being a kid not having a backlight on my yeah. Game Boy Advance and having to like angle it up to the light as we were driving. I think there's driving. a hole right here. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, can you see it? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kind of can. It's really like it's not there. It's, it's like a slight purple. I saved us with my superior perception. Perception. He has more perception points than I do. <laughs> I have more points into brute strength. Oh, no. You, actually, you do, actually. <laughs> I do. We 
like fucking we're going getting furniture. I'm like, okay, all right, I should go grab a cart then. And then he just like fucking picked it up and just carried it to the register. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, dude, Target always screws me up because I always get really far into Target without grabbing a cart, and I always grab a bunch and of shit. Just commit. Yeah, and then they never have baskets. They never have only, baskets anymore. Your mistakes have only made you stronger. No, honestly, like, and I'm like, I, like, I need this. Someone else will take it if I if I don't take it hey, now. Hey, look at Thief guy. Is he friend? Something must be in here. I wonder if something is in here that we missed. I think we looked for it last time. And we didn't find anything. It could be something there. Ah, oh, fuck. But it could also could be there, them taunting you. Like, well, don't you want it? You've, you've found a secret by now, right? Gosh, what a mean... If you, like, have a video game where you, you tell someone, like, a hint like that, and you yeah. don't actually put anything there. That's funny. That's funny, yeah. but that's, that's also... It's fucked up. It's like, uh... But, 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 the, uh... Yeah, it's because by now you will have found some secrets probably in caves like that. Yeah. And so now they're like, there's got to be a secret in here. There's like, like it, it, you know, in the fucking hallway that takes like a solid like minute for me to climb at he's, full he's, speed. He's making fun like, of you. Don't you, you want to check every single dark wall He's area? making fun of you for having video game yeah. brain. No, people people lost their minds in Dark Souls because there was, there was a ring, a pendant I think you could get as your starting gift. Because when you make your character, you pick a starting gift, and it's like you can have, like, I want some fire bombs, which you'll just use up and they'll go away. Or you, can, you get a ring that increases your health by 5%. Or, like, a, um, the, was it the most powerful one is, like, the master key that straight up opens some shortcuts that change how you can play the whole game. But one of the items is just the pendant that says it does nothing. And, and people are like, it like, has like, to it do has something. To. Yeah. <laughs> People have been trying to like data mine the secret out of that game for the, eternity. The one that got me was in Skyrim. There's those little uh, jars I like with an afford one fancy perf. There's little jars with bugs in them, like a butterfly or like a bee. And I have I have a few, I have a few of them collected. And if you look under the bottom of the jar, there's like a rune, and it's and everyone's like it must mean something. Yeah. But it turns out it just was a part of a mission that they took out of the game, so it actually doesn't mean anything. But everyone forever was like, oh my gosh, it oh, has yeah. to mean something. That's closer though. It at least was something. The other one, I, the other one I think point. of is Mortal Kombat when everyone thought that uh, noob Cybot is like like they thought like oh there has to be a character, and they end up making noob Cybot I think because they thought that. It was just Ed Boon's name backwards or something. It was like something yeah, like they, uh, they thought it was. The founders of Mortal Kombat, I think, were named like, like, Ta like Tal Bane and, and Boon. I yeah, think. Ed Boon. And so there were two names combined, were New Cybot backwards. But it was, but it was something like, the, like there was something that made them think that there was going to be a character in the game that I wasn't think... there, and they all like, worked really hard to unlock it, and it never happened because it Ghost? wasn't there. No, no, Noob Cybot. They made Noob Cybot. Afterwards, I thought there was something about Ghost, where it's like it was like the black, uh, like robot man. Maybe. And like there was some kind of like thing there. Just half. We're both just half remembering shit. Yeah, I, like, all I know is that people thought there was a character yeah, in there that wasn't we're both, in there. We're both half remembering videos about a fucking game neither of us play. I hate Mortal Kombat. I I used I just remember being in high school and watching all my friends do the fatalities because I would just sit there and watch them do it because I liked watching the fatalities. I'm not good at it. I think it's a clunky ass game. I hate yeah. No, the uh they 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 did the fucking digitization thing at the beginning where it was uh it was uh it was, it was the fucking like pictures of people for graphics. Yeah, yeah. And they made the the all everything about the game really stiff and awkward. And then they kept it the the animation style and like the whole way that everyone moves and behaves kind of stayed that way even it's to really now. It's really heavy. Like like when you when you play that yeah. game and you play something like I like Dead or Alive and Soul Calibur. So by yeah. comparison, it's really it hard to hella accept heavy. how people move and act in that game. But I also like Street Fighter. I I like I it's like like I said it's one of those things like I grew up with these things so like I have an attachment to it. But I'm not good at any of these things. I just like the oh, characters. Oh, this place. So that's, that's Blobland. Fear the Blobland. Blobland. It was full of all the mutants. Oh yes. It's the only, one of the places we beat and actually saved afterwards. I think. We d <laughs> yeah no I think we they don't exactly put a flag on it to be like yeah don't come back anymore you're good. I kind of it'd be nice if they did. <laughs> yeah oh. I am tardy. I am tardy. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> and guess what? The girl stole my boat. She sailed to that island over there. Oh. It's unbelievable how resilient she was. I was completely overpowered. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Now I do have a brother who has a boat, but he couldn't possibly make it over over here. The waters are too rocky. But if we could build a new boat, I can take you to her. I just need some wood, a sail, a way to propel the boat, and tools to put it all together. You get all that and we got a deal. So get to it. 
Well, fuck us. Our boat's gone. I think but, uh, I think he did. I think we did talk to him. And he told us that. Yeah, but the thing but, is, it makes me laugh is like at it. that point we don't need you, bud, because because we have a boat. We have a boat. <laughs> we built it ourselves. He's the boatman. He's the boat swain. What? How about we just use you to is kick? Is that even the right word? To kick the boat. That you paddle behind it, Tardy. You're how we propel the boat. Okay. <laughs> he's just, just, he's just sitting there, dog paddling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can't, we can't drive a boat. I'm. We, we have to depend on the kindness of others. If that guy was overpowered by a little girl, I think I could drive the boat better than he can. I, I mean, Brad, through sheer force of will, might be able to do something, but I, it seems like a lot of strain. Yeah, you, you actually need him because you can't paddle the boat because you got no arms. Yeah. So no, we do actually need. I him. would have to Zoro it. I, we've been here before. I remember that guy. I'd have to, I'd have to Rora Nora Zoro, Zoro it. I'd have to like bite the boat and kick. Oh yeah. Is that the name of the guy who's three sword style? Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, it is like, it is like Zoro or something. Yeah. I don't like One Piece. Sorry, I, I, everyone. I like, I liked one, I liked one. <laughs> in One Piece, I liked. Uh, the first, I liked, I liked the I liked, first season. I like Zoro and Sanji. Yeah, but I can only, I can't watch those characters for 800 episodes, no. man. There no. needs to be a conclusion. I made it to like the birthday cake. <laughs> what? I know this cave has something. I just can't find it. I made it to Robin. He moved. What the fuck? He did move. Yeah. Oh, he's tunneling the cave. I'm just gonna <gasps> let's leave. Keep him come leaving back. and they come yeah. back. <laughs> find it for us. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is interesting. Oh, nah, he didn't. I wonder if we have to do something more, or actual time has to pass. Maybe. <clears throat> Man, ropes are time-consuming. Especially when you have no arms. I wish I knew where like an inn was. Granted, the inns are where most of my characters went. <laughs> this looks like a safe place to sleep. He's dead. <laughs> he, he ran away because you didn't give him enough alcohol. It, you, that I don't even know if that's true. I don't know, but that's what I felt like happened. <laughs> You're really funny. There's like, hey, this one guy has a weird rule out of nowhere, and this, this will never come up again as a mechanic. Uh, it probably have, it probably wasn't, but that's. We haven't been here before. Wait, what the fuck? What? This isn't where we came from. No, it is where we came from. You're not the bloody, the bleeding Native American island thing. That was probably a metaphor for something. Who knows? <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> is this snowman gonna fuck us up? <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't trust the snowman. He's got a hat. That implies intelligence. That implies intelligence. Yeah. Who, I, I think it implies someone Dude, intelligent I, builds him. I, I, it was so fucking funny. I got the uh, I got my family to watch Jack Frost for Christmas. Like, I think I like do the, think that like, that is funny. Like the the, the the good one, which is the, the bad one, which well, is the good one. It's it's funny because I because your brother told me that, and I was like, oh, the one with Michael Keaton. He's like, no, no, the other one. I was like, I forgot there was another one. Yeah, no, I I, I don't know if I if I make. I was this... like, I was like the claymated one. He's like, no, no. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's like four of these. Yeah, there's the, uh, I don't there's know. There's the Rankin Bass one. I'm not entirely there's sure if Michael this Keaton is a real one. memory or not, but. I there's the horror one. I feel like we, like, fucking rented the the, sh the shitty Michael Keaton one from Blockbuster, but instead mm. it was the slasher one. That's, that is very funny. <laughs> and the slasher one is just fucking incredible. It's so stupid. My favorite part is that the, the deaths become increasingly nonsensical, not only because it's just over the top beat slock schlock horror but also because the uh it just doesn't have rules like you think that there's rules and then he just starts doing bullshit to kill people and you're like the fuck he just like manifests inside of people sometimes and just fucking comes out of them and like well i don't okay sure <laughs> but it's a very it's very much that kind of stupid thanks killing style movie where it's like i'm just gonna kill people in stupid ways and then say puns while they're dying which is the ultimate insult, really. Oh, he's got a ah! gun! He's got a gun! <laughs> I knew not to trust him! I knew, it said, quick, get the antifreeze! We need a truck full of antifreeze! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you were just talking about Jack Frost forgot, who kills people in schlocky I ways. Heal, I forgot to heal anyone. Oh, we're gonna die from the snowman. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, man. There were no rules to this this guy either. <laughs> it's just a guy in a snowman. Armed snowman. You, you know it's kind of Sir, a... most snowmen have arms. <laughs> if they're built Checkmate. correctly. <laughs> I, I think I was still holding out hope on finding a place to recover, so I didn't quite use any of my healing hands yet. But then I forgot. 
in a in Animal Crossing right now. <laughs> you can build snowmen because it's winter time technically still. And if you build one perfectly, you get like you get like a prize basically. But it, was, it, it they had this mechanic in the old game also, but it pisses me off because their definition of a perfect snowman. The Who snowman's true identity is revealed. Uh, he still it still looks the same to me. This guy. Yeah. It looks the same. <laughs> He's really, this is really a, you get one shot, and then after that, this is a pretty big disadvantage. <laughs> what, being in this, being, being in, a, in snowman? a snowman? Yeah, a little bit. It's not helping at all. If you miss your first shot, you're kind of fucked. Yeah, he didn't miss, I'm just too strong. I've been through too much. Bruh. He's dead now. Well, at least you didn't huh? die to that, because I don't know how we're going to recreate finding this area again. I don't know where I am, I thought I was backtracking. <laughs> I was like, okay, I've I've saved, I've got some healing items, let's go fight that dude. Uh, snowman. If I haven't gotten to watch out. Yeah, I don't try. <laughs> 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 oh man. Here, I'll, I'm remembering to heal now. Fancy perfume. There you go, Brad. There you go. You, you smell fancy. That, so fancy you're, you're, you deserve to live because you smell fancy. God, I'm like immediately out of healing items again. No, but, but anyways, in, in Animal Fight! Crossing, I forgot. the perfect snowman have like a head that is almost the exact same size as the torso it's like oh like and if you build it wrong they like make fun of you for it they're like it's okay if i was perfect i'd be too vain because the snowman talked to you no and i'm like shut the fuck up like i like my snowman like this snowman where the head is kind of like small i don't want the head to be like the same size as the body yeah that's no, not it, right it's supposed to be yeah it's supposed to be like just reduced width per thing yeah but yeah, Dude. like I said, in Animal Crossing has to be almost, almost the exact same size as the one underneath it. And then they neg you. And then they, yeah, then they're like, they're like, and then you go, you're like, oh, like. Horse stance. And then you should watch them melt, and then every day you go talk to them as they're dying, and they're like, I'm melting. <laughs> like, <laughs> so this you get is for, the end for me. That's so what you get for making fun of my craftsmanship, bitch. <laughs> Here, enjoy a fireball. Wait, that I might should... be the. It might be. Maybe I feel that's... like that might be effective. Maybe. I mean, I'm using Brad's horse stance. Oh, it's a different guy this it's time. It's a different guy. You would think so. It'd be weird if it wasn't. <laughs> I'd be alarmed if it was the same guy. How again. did they? Did someone else build the snowman around them? Yeah. <laughs> You're like tempting fate to see if that one would be too. Come here. Experience. And that... wounds. Yeah, we need that. What a combo. Ah! You missed me! I don't know how. It's a 2D game. Miss but I guess me, you can just me. fucking now you die. Gotta kiss me. Yeah, thankfully Brad has horse stance, which means he can recover his own SP. That is that is good. Oh, oh. what did he do? Kill me! How, he just shot you? <laughs> Something, some bullshit. That was This game doesn't have a combat feed, so I can't read I can't read what's happening fast enough. You know, for how punishing... Especially since usually the surprise happens, and then you should have already read by then what it was before the surprise happened. For how punishing this game is in terms of combat, it makes me wish that it was more like Undertale, where you had options to convince them to stop fighting you. Yeah. <laughs> if you had, like, certain, like, it's skill a very checks and things. different mood, though. Yeah, I know, but, but it just seems like the combat in this game is so... Hi. Like, at least in Earthbound, you could do some weird things. Is this a contest where we throw oh. cinder blocks at each other and see who can grunt through it instead of exploding? Is CrossFit? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what that is. How, how'd you know? <laughs> hey. Boss, it's him. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I don't know who this is. <laughs> wait, we, we haven't seen this. I'm like, oh, no, not... Who, who the fuck are you? I was going to say, I don't remember this flat top guy that's no. not that's not our normal guy no i thought i was gonna pan to the guy with the truck that keeps fucking with us <laughs> it's just some dudes that i guess know who we are you like <clears throat> he looks like some kind of sergeant character that i remember from like how and chicken or something uh i'll be dipped <laughs> you are the guy kicking everyone's ass for that chick well i can't punch him God damn! This is more bullshit than, than that bum call in '82. Those dang North City lions! 
That bum call. Oh, a sports referee call. Oh, yeah, I guess that's so. what you're fucking latching yeah, on to in the apocalypse. <laughs> that's Not- what you remember from 82. Hey, remember the apocalypse? <laughs> hey, remember 82? Yeah, I love <laughs> that 82. That one call in a Lions game. You tell them. You don't look so tough. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's get them, gang. Let's go, pals. Oh, by the way. I used to play college ball. Oh, that's his shoulder spike. I thought he shoved his hand in my me, mouth. Me, me too. And I was like, like that, I thought that was the reveal too. of that sound effect. And I'm like, what? I thought he was giving us like a, like a palm touch that was going to stop our heart. Yeah. <laughs> and Take I, your three steps, Bill. <laughs> and I dig my cleats deep, bucko. This is a soccer. Wait, well, no, it's like college there's a, ball. There's a lot of cleats. Yeah, I guess. Things. Yeah, I, I guess I'm dumb. I guess you play, you wear cleats in football, right? Do you? There are a number I of don't know. sports of cleats. It's <laughs> I pretty don't much know. just the ones that aren't on wood or ice. So you don't wear cleats it, when you bowl? If it's grass, it's cleats. There are other shoes for other things. Want to prank your local gonna, bowling alley? Wear, blow wear your cleats goddamn mind. to the bowling alley. God, there's so many of them. Why are there so many of them? I, I think I, we should have taken our chances with the Native American dude. I didn't know where I was. <laughs> no, we don't. We're just here now. Iro- this, this is Iroquois, where we live now. Butch Irons, Iroquois Planter. This guy can't even play songs. <laughs> Where's your fucking MP recovery item, dick? Are these our, these are our last four people? I forgot. Maybe, uh, I think everyone else is way lower level. Ah. Uh, but I might need, if I can't get an MP items, I need to switch out. SP items, I need to switch out bow for somebody that at least has an attack. Got bow Burnham. Ah, what? stop throwing beers at me. I don't have any more kerosene to throw at you. I would like some more kerosene to throw at you. Do you have kerosene? Boom, 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 boom. I'm oily. <laughs> Just sharing. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, Artie Bunker, Bo Burnham, and Harvey Dangerfield. Boom. You just got a rocket raccoon. <laughs> this is Bradley Cooper. <laughs> you know, I, I went on the, um... I went to Disneyland recently. Yikes! Not of my own choice. <laughs> but I did go, <laughs> a few, like, a month or so ago. And I got to go on the, uh... The Guardians of the Galaxy ride that I was a little bit upset about at first because I really like the Tower of Terror because I really do like and now Twilight it's Zone because it's now <laughs> Guardians. Yes, but I'm not gonna lie, I did really like it. Uh, they have like a, a little waiting room where Rocket Raccoon, an animatronic, comes and talks to you, yeah. and he skitters like around the room and steals stuff, and they have it in a way where you can't see his whole body because he's like reaching into cabinets, but he's like talking to you as he's like doing stuff. He's interacting with stuff around the room around you that while he's really like giving you sophisticated. Oh yeah, no, dude, they're on top of their shit. <clears throat> but the best part, and Keith, you're gonna love this, is while you're in line, you're you're, you're in like the collectors house, you know, like the collector, the guy Benicio played- Benicio del Toro. Yes, Benicio del Toro. And, and he has a dog in a Russian spacesuit <laughs> that is captured. Yeah, because it's in, yeah, it's in the, it's at the, it's in his collection in the movie. Yeah, he has a bunch of, a bunch of aliens and weird things, and he has, and at one point there was a dog in a spacesuit. It's supposed to be funny to you, because it's like, obviously you know that's a dog, because you're a human being. Yeah. But, at, but while you're on the ride- It's a rare dog, it was in space. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon's like, hey, we're gonna sabotage all this stuff. So like, you're gonna help us. By getting us into the into the elevator, basically, but 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 they show they save the dog and they show the dog at the end at the end when they're all congratulating mm-hmm. you for doing a good job. The dog's sitting there with them and like they're petting the dog, so they knew that me being in line and seeing this dog in a cage would make me sad, and they incorporated it into the ride as like an Easter egg. The dog's there, so and they fucked. saved the dog. Yep, you're fucked. <laughs> Go get him, Bo. Saving the world with music, or whatever the lyrics to that song were. I don't even know what song you're talking about. It's the Bo Burnham song. Oh. Yeah. It's called Comedy, I think it was called. Yeah. Saving the world with comedy. Yep. You feeling pretty d- down? Call me and I'll tell you a joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's escalating horrible things. Like, if you're a victim of police violence, call me and I'll tell you a joke. 
Your family is starving. <laughs> I don't know any of the actual examples, but that was the gist. Well, fuck me. Well, at least... I, I got up to him. <laughs> at, at least the dog saved you, okay? The dog and the animatronic dog that's not real in the other universe that isn't well, this it, game. It, it, was, it was played by... <laughs> oh. What am I looking at? Why is he a turd hive? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, th I just thought it was a guy hunched over. <laughs> like his head's wrapped up in bandages and he's hunched over. He's like holding his knees. Yeah, the uh, the human desire to find a face is doing a lot of work here. <laughs> I I'm, I'm sorry, master. I didn't mean to make you m mad. I didn't mean to make you cry, but tonight I'm tuning out my closet. Fuck, okay, that's the whole thing. <laughs> I wonder if we can come back and make him feel better. That's just distressing. Yeah. Well, I cleared my way up to another boss that I can't fight, so we're doing good. <laughs> Maybe if we leave and then we come back, we'll go to a different area that the guy digs <laughs> out for us. I'm so confused. Is that a different guy searching a different cave and we thought he made progress? We might just be stupid if they thought that, but... <laughs> I mean, it's, the hub worlds are fucking confusing. He looks exactly the same. It's always like, here's a weird, lumpy Super Mario 3-looking place, and it's there's 75 doors and holes in the wall. Remember which ones are which. They're not marked at all. Like, in Gruntilda's Lair, the fucking doors are themed on the outside. <laughs> yeah. You know, just have a bunch of holes and be like, good luck. <laughs> these, these, these elevators... I need to find SP regenerating shit, and also like, I don't know, like a masseuse. <laughs> a masseuse. He's in the same place he wasn't before. Yeah, maybe this might just be a different cave. Yeah, that fucks with me. <clears throat> but he also says he's looking for something. Yeah. I guess it's just to explain why he's here. Making me wonder how many times I did that gag in this area. Okay, yeah, that's the other guy. Yeah, that's to him. Alright, well this guy was just a guy, so maybe I can beat him. Optimism. <laughs> it's a mistake. <laughs> my, my favorite hobby is lying to myself. <laughs> that is a good hobby. <laughs> I think most people participate in that <laughs> one. What? Wait, wait, wait. There's a secret! No, this is where we- Ah, fuck! We've been here before. It's rake, la it's rake land. I hurt myself. My brad's not alive yet to hurt get hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Creek. creek. So I've actually it's, so I did search for a secret when we saw him before and I did find it and it was uh the I, rakes that I, led to I, I a guess dojo. that's a secret. Yeah, I mean we will we will go through a wall yeah, that's in the true. darkness. Maybe I should check the other place for secrets. Maybe there is one. Usually secrets I like I think of secrets as being like an item, but Nah. I guess knowledge an entire, could also be an entire a secret. Area, an entire area can be a secret. That's true. Like, I like I played Undertale twice. Actually, I don't remember if it happened a second time or not. But the uh, in my original playthrough of Undertale, I beat the whole game and then heard about Temmy. <laughs> <laughs> like I never encountered Temmy. I'm like, what the fuck is Temmy? And now I follow Temmy on YouTube because <laughs> it's also a person. I played one of their games. They made another game. I haven't played that one. What game is that? I don't remember. Uh, I think the first one was called Escape Chasm. Maybe. He has a itch.io page. With video games in it. Alright, let's do some reviving and some saving. Brad. Uh, fancy. My poor characters. I did get shot by a snowman, though, so, you know, like, upsides. Well, you did gain some XP from killing snow people, so... Snow people. Then no one leveled, though, I don't think. Yeah. Painted sky, you don't want a blood moon tree. I would, see, I wish I could just tell him, like, hey, man, I don't want your tree. Yeah, I'm actually just trying to find somebody. Do you have a sale? I don't want to kill you over this. <gasps> we want the tree! Oh, we do. We want the they're wood. All they're all chopped but... down, and we're going to cut down a sacred tree to make a boat so I that we can even continue to be that. hated by our own daughter. Now I feel bad, because yep. we, we are trying to take a tree. Yep. Gosh, fuck us. I bet yep. you, the, the other people must have tools or something. We're continuing on our quest. Fuck, he AoE'd the whole party. That's cheating. You can't do that. Only I can do that when I have kerosene bottles that I don't have right now, so stop it. His, uh, his shirt's a little bit confusing to me. 
He's showing off his sick abs, but it's just like the, the shirt itself is like pointing in opposite directions. Like it has. I'm gonna try to trip him by sliding into him head first. That would be confusing. Head slide. slide into his DMs. No. <laughs> no. Fuck. Glad I revived Brad so he could do one attack. <laughs> nice. And he's and he he is our toughest person, technically, right? Uh I mean he's in every fight. So he's probably the highest level guy. Yeah, but he doesn't. I don't know no about arms. toughest anymore. Yeah. Like, things are kind of a mess at this point. I think he might have to become a drug addict. I think, it's, I think it's finally pushing us to the point where he has to become a drug addict for the story to continue. Like, I think once all of your arms are cut off, <laughs> you start running out of non... Uh, you start running out of, running out of combat, combat options that aren't, like, just take the joy already. It's not great. Fuck! Like, it's either that or we, like, rewind to, like, ten hours ago. Maybe maybe even just start over and do a season two of the whole game. And I'm like, I don't know if that's where the path I want to take. I think, I think that, like... <laughs> it, it, it's, it's difficult to understand. Because I feel that, for the most part, a lot of the decisions that we've made are ones that the average person I feel like would probably make. Like, I don't think that our decisions are so outlandish that we should be punished to this extent for them. That's the game we <clears throat> do, though. But, but it's, but it's, but I feel like we, we made what was probably, for the most part, a lot of the more ethical of decisions. Well, yeah, which is exactly why it's fuck it's, you. It, it's, it, and, and I guess, I guess in real life, there's there's a comment to be made about that actually making your life hard because it does. <laughs> yeah. No, narrative narratively there's this almost unhealthy obsession with justifying any selfless act with it then turning around and benefiting them in some bullshit way that makes it seem less like it's selfless because then the selflessness keeps benefiting them. But in real, I mean, in real but life, in real life, you're just that's losing not how stuff. Things happen. <laughs> you're just losing stuff, and maybe some people like you more, but not always. This is like, I mean, this is, uh, it's like somewhat related, but like, late, or like, <laughs> lately I've been watching videos on street gangs on YouTube, and it, it's one of those things that like, obviously it's, it's very, it's very, it's a, like everyone's aware of this, but it gets, when you listen to these people, it's more obvious where it's like, if you're, if you're like live in certain areas, you don't feel like you have options to like, yeah. You're you're born into like immense poverty, and so like you you have like ways to make money that are not ethical, but you also have like family and loved ones and people who depend on you to not take care of them is also like unethical, like to let people suffer that you love, and so like a lot of these people like turn to crime to like make money, but then when they go to prison and then they they come back out, them trying to find real jobs doesn't work, and and even if they do, they're making like a very tiny fraction as to what, how much they would make, like, like doing things like peddling drugs, you know? And so it's like, oh, you get to this point where you're like, well, no wonder why these people aren't making ethical decisions, because they're making, like, what is the way to win in this, in this situation? There's no other way to win. Like, for us right now, I don't feel like we have... Yeah. Like, I, I wanted to play this whole playthrough and not take not make Brad suffer by making him a drug addict, but I feel like we might just have to. I don't... That's, that, that is the price we pay for making decisions that benefit the ones that we love. Yeah. Where am I ever? There's just a weird door here. Like, in real life, life really does punish you for, make, for making, like, the decisions for... out of kindness, and you get punished for that. You do really well if you're a scummy person, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You do really well if you're like a politician. If you're like someone who throws people under the bus. You'll get far and you'll make money. You're gonna go far, kid. But is that the game you want to play? Motorcycle. So you gotta ask yourself this. What the what? fuck? Wait. With a thousand eyes and a good disguise. <laughs> right between the end. Uh, but no, uh, James Summerton's video that he just put out like this week called, it's like, Be Gay, Do Crime, goes into like, 
Like, yeah, like, there's a history of homosexuals being tied to criminal activity, but it's like, why would you care about legality when you're very When the law doesn't existence... protect you. <laughs> well, not even that, but when your very existence is illegal. illegal. Like, if if your very existence is a crime, then what do you care? Why should you care about crimes? Because you're you are a crime. He's just standing there. Oh, so what? You walk past him? No, you can't walk through people in this game. What the fuck? Look at that lens get, You want to get off your bike? Oof, oof, I don't know oof, why that would matter, oof, but oof, 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 oof. It just looks cool. <laughs> nope. Huh? I think I need a motorcycle. I need, I need to be as cool as they are. Do you have a motorcycle? No. How do I? Oh, items. Then key items. Then bicycle. What's up? Oh wait, no 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 I, if you look at the item description, I guess it says bail to a safer, safer place, but I'm reading that for the first time. Let's rest here and lose people. Who's gone? Who's gone? Is it the fish? <gasps> I didn't get any uh, pop-up saying anything scary. It just kept going. I wonder what, like, I wonder what, wow. what the dice roll is. Like, I, yeah, it, I have no idea. Is there like a when you rest? Like, is there a dice roll that happens? So, Stephanie, pop up your map of the first area you definitely made. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, no, that was before. <laughs> uh, wasn't there a store to buy somebody? A store to the, yeah. there's a store we to buy. Don't have, we don't have money anymore. No, we don't. And they would suck now. Remember, we have the store to buy the really rich, the really, really <gasps> hot guy. We could try to save the boy. Which one? The guy the, got stole. The luchador? Our guy got stole, and they were like, come find us, bitch. And it's like, we never found him. We found the se the second zone's gang that stole people. Yeah, but. Are you talking about the luchador? I don't know. <laughs> it's been too long. At the beginning of our series, somebody got stolen, and there was a note of who stole them. And we were supposed to find the person that stole. So them. yeah, we we had two we people. Never, we had two yeah. people get stolen. We yeah, had, and we, we found had, the second one. Yeah. And they probably died afterwards. Yeah, I don't, remember, I don't even remember who we saved. We saved Tardy. Farty, sorry. Yeah. We saved Farty. Uh, but he was a different. He was like he was. He wasn't stolen from us to begin Ten with. Heading back. We had the loot store get stolen, and <laughs> we had someone else get stolen. I don't remember if he's with, if with us even anymore. <laughs> Oink. You know, I need I need a map of this entire game. <laughs> I gotta, it's so fucking hard. You know, it's funny because I think I pulled up I pulled up a map on my phone at one point, but it was incomprehensible. Even then, it's incomprehensible because there's no way to draw a map of this game that really works because each area has like five doors that lead to like five other things that lead to like yeah. five other things. So the, unless you have like a whole wall to build like a you need because uh, you need like you need, you need like a Pepe Silvia style yeah. I was wall. gonna say you need yarn. Like you need to drop. You, have, you need to have a, literally a picture of the map that shows all the individual it. doors and then draw lines to the other places. It looks safe. Don't do that. Hey. Hmm. Poor thing. Oh, should we just find a new place while we're going? Honestly, at, <laughs> at this point, dunk, just dunk just, yourself through Yeah, the, I was like, can I dunk myself? <laughs> at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised if we like found a fucking new place out of nowhere. Yeah, did it really just fucking end here? God damn it. Just... No, well, something happened here, but we we had like a flashback here. This yeah. was a whole thing, but... But I want to find our bro, and I'm so lost all the time. Um... Eh. I could try... <laughs> I could try looking up, like, where yeah. the gangs would be. It's not gonna work out. I don't even know how to phrase that, though. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> type in... I'll just Google. So you can also use that to skip back to the hub from other places. That is cool. So that means when, I'm, when I was lost in the desert, I could have skipped back to the hub then. I get why we might have gotten comments about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard game. There's uh, a lot going on. I'll type into Google, uh, uh, playing Lisa, which is already confusing, because that's a person's name, but... Playing Lisa lost the luchador, uh, looking for gangs that stole him. Help me find them. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, what would you type into Google? Location of gangs in the game Lisa. Right, can't get up there. But even then, they're like, which ones? There's like eight gangs. There's like ten gangs. We've, we've encountered like twenty gangs. Ten gang squad. 
Gang, gang. Alright, so which one was... Freeman? Huh? We've been here before. Hello, my nightmares. Huh? He looks friendly. Cool. Just a looming... A looming of buddies. That's, that's what you call a bunch of buddies together. A looming. I think this is the, the dude whom we must take the land from, and then he can have a single tear fall down his ironically Jewish face, because that was the guy the guy that was the guy that in the commercial he wasn't Native American. <laughs> the famous uh the, the famous Native American crying over the environment the environment yeah. commercial. Yeah. Was it's like they just got some other guy. Like, alright, all right, guys, come on. Just like as 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 like a as like a marketing ploy. Yeah. They gave him some visine, made him cry it out of his eyes. They painted some guy to have like darker skin. Not not really very cool. Alright, so we got Ajit in the party. He's level eighteen he's level sixteen. Which isn't as great. Also, he will specifically probably leave if I ever take Joy, because I think he's the guy that joined us oh. because I've never taken Joy. Yeah. He's like, Dr. Ultra Straight Edge, bro. Look at these straight edge abs. I liked uh, the the old the old lady uh, super mutant in yep. Fallout that was friends with you, but only if you were nice. And I, I actually yeah. I kept myself nice just so I could get her. And then as soon as I got her, I was like, ah! put, her, put her in my apartment and then I started being mean. I was not ready for that to happen. Very yuck. I'm gonna give you deep voice and gross. Missile attack. So why did this guy show up now? I think I just haven't been exactly here before. Oh. How the what? fuck? Stop! <laughs> you know how hard it was to get here with this health? Yeah. Let your boss take all my health. <laughs> he will. I know he will. Punjabi poke. Power of the cosmos. <laughs> I saw a um, <clears throat> saw a wedding that was Katamari themed, and they had they rolled up, they rolled up all of the uh, the wedding goers, and there were no survivors. <laughs> they made a planet out so of that, them, so that the, the husband and bride could grow in power. <laughs> but they they had like the big heads and everything. They like they like used like like felt and stuff and like filled it with like mattress foam or something to make like the big extended heads. It was pretty interesting. It's honestly one of the coolest weddings I've ever seen, so. I don't think I've ever been to He's a cool bedding. wedding. No, weddings are miserable. We weddings are boring, yeah. Weddings are like a threat more so than a promise. I always told myself if I ever had a wedding it'd be like just some really simple thing where nobody really had to do much, and we just got into the woods and do some occult stuff. Like, it would just be like, oh, let's all just go gather in a really nice place, and you guys can just wear whatever you want. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on this. <laughs> I think spending a lot of m money on a wedding is stupid. You should spend all that money on, like, the honeymoon. Like, you could have a big party. Like, hey, double levels. There you go. I got something out of this. Yep. What's if, only, if only it'd give you health. <laughs> a fancy perfume. Well, there we go. That's a good drop. Yeah, I guess I've never taken exactly that path. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't really have to. Have some soup. That's all of my soup. I have zero healing items. <laughs> I have how many? I have one fancy perfume and zero healing items. Let's a uh, go. I probably got it this time. I don't got it. This entire episode has been me just trying to finish going from that bird to that guy and then not die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's uh it's only been 45 minutes. <laughs> Let's slide let's head tackle. Trip him. We just need to stack as many status effects as I can that cause him to not hit us. Please stop hitting us. Please. Be wary and weird. Wary and weird. 
I want to try to stop oh, fuck. I want to stack anything that'll make him less capable of hurting me, maybe. And then I want to stack all <laughs> of the things that cause damage over time, hopefully. That's the entire strat. I call that the butterfree method. Butterfree. For the Pokemons where the fights last more than one turn. Yeah, back when they used to. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> yeah. Back when you're fighting a mill tank that keeps healing itself with Poison its Poison and burning! All over, dick. <laughs> I just feel mean. Yeah, we're just taking this guy's tree, man. But no, I mean, I mean, what I'm doing to Brad too. Oh, uh, like throwing him? Yeah, he's just getting thrown head first at this guy's legs over and over again. Get him! Oh, I gotta respect that he's like doing his best. He's know? so committed. Yeah. To make this guy feel weird. <laughs> How are the cosmos? This tends to miss though. Ow. Now he's weird! Uh, yeah. Clear above. I wish I could see his status effects. Yeah. There they are, okay. I have to highlight him at, with an attack. Attack Inferno. I wish you could see like their health, but Blinding that's just how active. these games work. Like yeah. they never show you. Which is which is good. It ma it makes you like uh like you never know how far you really got, so when you lose, you're like, is it worth even trying again? Yeah. Like you, have to, you have to debate with yourself. Hame Hame Trash! There's some damage. Please stop being alive. Hey! Damage over time damage. I'm so powerful and strong and cool. Flex, flex, flex. Uh, yuck. I'm gonna yuck you up. I'm gonna yuck you like an animal. <laughs> Just blinding. I'll ask Kiki what that means. <laughs> uh, weirdness, weird. I think it's weird and wary. <laughs> what a sentence. Hey, you're back, dick. Thought you'd join us? May cause paper cuts. Confusion. Setting. May cause paper cuts. I think Let's see, make him confused. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, uh, attached to confusion only because... It, like, it hurt I, itself and it's confusion. Yeah, exactly. Confusion's like a really Co good one. He's confusing one. and bleeding. I paper cutted him with the confusion. Paper cutted him with the confusion. I, yeah, I would also be confused <laughs> if someone attacked me by just throwing paper at me. Yeah. Scatter. Oh, he needs to be set on fire again. Please be set on fire. I'll try twice just in case. No water attacks, it stops fire, I think. Make him upset. He's already confused. He's confused and upset is like a powerful yeah. combination. That's I'm just I'm just stacking every effect I can. He's pissed and crying. What a baby. Oh no, his tears are gonna put out the fire. No, they won't. Being confused and upset just reminds me of like being really drunk. It's <laughs> 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 so having a bad time. I don't see poison. Let's do deep poison. I like that it says deep poison. What does that mean? This thing. Oh! He hurt him, did he hurt himself for 4,000 just now? Is that what happened? Maybe. I think he crit himself. That's great. It's That's everything great. I dreamed of at once. Wow. What an honor. Fuck you, die. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Let's do fireball. Wow, it's uh, it's really important that I remembered the fast travel comments this episode <laughs> deep into the episode long <laughs> enough that to still frustrate people. Uh, he's not blind right now, so let's blind him again. I'm st <laughs> just stacking. This every poor guy, thing. man, you're just fucking. Well, he should just stop. He should just let us kill that tree that he loves. Yeah. It's the last tree. He's taking so long to die. Have is he considered dying instead? He should just let you kill the last uh, fucking truffle tree, the Lorax yeah. style. No, he crit me this time. I think this is actually the downside of making him angry is that I think he does a lot of damage. Oh, that, oh yeah. To huh? help he hurts himself. You are not needed in this tale. Whoa. That was a pretty cool death, though. He turned into a slime, and the speakers blew out, and a wolf howl played. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> New skills restraining order. 
That was just confusing. <laughs> Everything happened at once. Fuck. On the tree? Yeah. Yes. I should have saved first in case the tree fights me. You got some fine wood. Oh man. Hey, the music stopped. I feel bad about this. The day the forest died. And we were singing. Ha I bye <laughs> bye, Native American guy. Bloodwood. Oh. Garbage map! We right. got blood on the wood because you have died. Do I risk it again? They can't steal more people, can they? If they do, Keith will cry. Or I'll load a save and say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it might be a one-off. Wow, that's really useful. <laughs> that's a, that's a Yay. kind- <laughs> Thanks, God. When you see certain kindnesses Thanks. in a game, you're not ready for the idea that they could exist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because this game is so mean that you're like, that doesn't sound right that you could do that. There's no way, right? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Where is she? Where the fuck? Who that? Haven't done this door Wait, yet, apparently. You that's not the bathhouse? I don't think so. Look at this guy. Turn around. I feel like this happened before. Let's back there. <laughs> What's up? It's me. I got my nips out. Everyone, I, like I said, in this game, everyone yep. just everyone has. Everybody's nips out. got square nips. Kills. Bag of yuck. Punjabi poke. Bag of burning. Advisory. Restraining order. Legally convince your enemy to stop attacking you. Make us paper cuts. I love paper cuts. Let's go. <laughs> I love paper cuts. <laughs> Now I'm just imagining the horror of someone being weirdly into paper cuts. Oh, so I it's, don't like it. It's paralysis. I don't like it. Oh, I, I guarantee you. No, it's just it's it's any kind of physical contact or lack of it, literally any physical contact or lack of physical contact can be someone's and is someone's fetish. Everything in the world. Like I'm looking around your room right now. And, <laughs> and I'm it's... having a hard time thinking of anything that wouldn't be a fetish to someone. <laughs> Cardboard boxes. Oh, that's what does it for me. Dude. I watched the whole the whole documentary on the lady that's in love with the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and she went there and they had to tell her to stop rubbing it up on it. Oh no. At first I was like, well you can just be weirdly infatuated with something. It doesn't it's not sexual <laughs> yet, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. She had like a she would she referred to it she like she gendered it, so she, it was a him, I think. And she uh, would write letters to it and she had um like posters and she had figurines made of him and she would like she like had to go visit him she spent all of her money repeatedly visiting the Eiffel Tower and yeah they had to like be like ladies uh like stop grinding up on the Eiffel Tower <laughs> but Tinder said we were compatible you don't know what you're doing <laughs> bye <gasps> look at those meters go Wow, I feel so much better about the death that they did. Maybe we don't have to take drugs yet. Rando rations! Ah, oh, those are good! Those are like the full heal of both meters ran- Oh, yeah, this is the final Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like this is the- But, 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 that guy- but, but, but I'm jacked, bro. Oh yeah, we left this- Boss spiders! We, 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 we fucked up last time, we didn't finish this, because the Yakuza's down here. Yeah, we, we, we went through here for a while, <laughs> then we died. Yeah, because there's so like, a, there's like one progress. room with like a bunch of Yakuza, like, six of them and they just fucked us up yeah i hope i can tell which one it is and then go back and save and then it be like yeah i finished everything else and then deal with him you know saved i don't like how these spiders are our dad <laughs> i don't know who would <laughs> cool spiders but could you could you cut did they come in um not my dad <laughs> anyone else anyone else would be better <laughs> And they're like, your mom? I'm like, no, no it's not, not that either. I'm really trying not to have a complex here, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do someone I don't know. Yeah. I'll take a Kiki spider. My dog yeah. dog be a spider. I'd like her even more. <laughs> dog dog, dog spider. spider. It'd be really it's a big fuzzy dog spider. Oh, that'd be so cute. Like... God, I'm just thinking about Bloodborne and the fucking, like, raven dogs and the dog ravens and shit. And the weird, whatever the fuck was going on with those enemies. I actually did watch a really funny video where someone put their little small, 
like fuzzy dog in a spider, a big spider costume. They like they, they made it like this custom costume looked pretty gruesome, and they let it like run in this. They just let it run around in this like dark building. And every time it saw a person, it ran at the person because it wanted to get pet. But all this person saw was like this thing that looks yeah. like a big spider running just at it. Running. And, and the reactions that people had to it were pretty fucking funny because they like freaked out because you can't tell it's a dog with the way that it had the thing on it. You just see this thing skittering at you that has a bunch <laughs> of legs and stuff. And at one point he put it in the elevator and he let the elevator open and the person who opened the elevator like freaked out and this dog you could tell couldn't understand why people were so upset because the dog just w wanted to like hang out with people yeah that was actually if i find that video again i'm gonna show i just to be you, slightly worried like that someone might hit the dog yeah no i mean it's like scary i think everyone was just so like like what the fuck is that what the <laughs> all the captions are like people yell like what is that what is that and they're just running <laughs> Let it loose in like a dark, uh, dark parking lot, like an under, like a, like a parking garage, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't see it. it reminds me, the like I, I'm not sure, good. I'm sure it was uh, staged, but I saw this uh, a clip of apparently somebody having a, gor a gorilla suit on the uh, on the International Space Station and chasing the other astronauts around. Oh gosh! And of course, they're chasing by just like rocketing through the 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 chutes like with no grav. They're just like floating down hallways really quickly, <laughs> launching themselves away from this gorilla that's chasing them. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you're already up in space, I feel like you probably have, like, some weird thoughts anyway. <laughs> Event Horizon's finally happening. I love fighting the same spider over and over again. These, these moments drag a bit. Where I'm just like, I would like to get to thing, please. Next, next moral choice, let's go. <laughs> that's like, that's like, that's like what I was saying, where it's like, I wish there was a repel. The game that's repelling, get it? Ha. How do I make my dad stop showing up everywhere? <laughs> get over your weird complex. I, I'm just thinking about the fucking comments people might make, like look like looking things up about this game. So this game's full of my dad. How do I make it stop? <laughs> <laughs> Spiders that look like my dad. I'm so dad, so very, very dad. So dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everybody just punch him for a bit. I don't want to make choices anymore. This next song's called I Hate My Dad Spider, Please Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. I love this one. At least dad's not very good at fighting. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck you. He's just gonna get me when I come back. <laughs> <laughs> also, now when he's not. What did you get? Devil's pads. What the fuck does that mean? It's probably armor. Not his, though. That was like one piece of gear. No. That's no, a hard hat. Nope. Alright. Uh, yeah, there's spiky devil's pads for like a footsman. Satan Manning. The football like pads that. of the world's most evil quarterback, Satan Manning. That's funny. They're doing a pun on like dude I don't know about besides that his name is that. It's Peyton Manning. Yep. <laughs> oh, the vow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the nature of, uh. of sports fame. There's a bunch of names that just live in my brain somewhere. But I can't tell you what team they're on or even what sport they play for mostly. I just remember. There's a couple people I remember. Uh, for like reasons that aren't good. Like, I remember, like, there's a guy on the Bengals who might not even be on the Bengals anymore. His name is like. I think he legally changed his name to Ocho Cinco because his n number was 85. Bat! I remember that. They're getting faster. I remember, um... Uh... <laughs> I can't even think of sports people. No. Um... I mean, there's a lot of ones that are famous for, like, just attacking people. I remember Hideki Matsui, who was a baseball player <laughs> from Japan, I think, who really... W he was, like, the best baseball player in Japan, so he got to play on the... The New York Yankees, I think. And I thought that was cool. 
And the only reason I remember that is because I had a friend who had a plush duck that she called Head Ducky Matsui. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I remember that. It's like when somebody has just a really stupid name, name for their pet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I remember A Rod. No. Found him. Oh, yeah, there we are. God, there's no warning when you get to them, so you can't even, oh, like, turn you can't back, back and down. Save. Can I get up again? Yo, you don't belong here, outsider. Time to not leave? Okay. <gasps> you can't leave! I get to leave! It's the bamboo one. That's the place that it are at. Alright, so okay, I can remember at least the save. bamboo one. And then hopefully all the spiders stay dead. So at least when I die this time, I don't have to reclear all the spiders. Yeah, because we're, yeah, we're not sure if they stay dead because we died last time. So we'll yeah. see if they actually stay dead. These spiders suck. I hate them. Also, if I, if I go back and save and they don't stay dead, then I get to reclear them for no reason. Because I because <laughs> I just did that to myself. Yeah. By leaving. So that's great. Die, Dad. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, horseman. <laughs> that was a good one, Key. What? I liked it. That quote just loops in my brain all the time. It's astonishing I've never covered that game, because that fucking opening conversation was just a loop over and over again when I was a kid. Like, my, like my brother and I, I think, both had it memorized at some point, and we'd do the parts. <laughs> Between Dracula and Alec- and not Alucard, uh, Richter. The same could be said of all religion. <gasps> Edgy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a PlayStation game? Oh my god, I better not show my parents. <laughs> oh! Big ol' r slash atheism vibes. Good job. Hello, bird wall. And then there's crab wall. All the way back at crab wall, I was worried I was about to get to them. Maybe that's a crab clan. <laughs> <laughs> die, 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 die. Failed. It's just failed, not even missed. Just fuck you. Not even resisted. They just want to neg me. <laughs> yeah. Not that you specifically were risk resisted in your efforts. You specifically the failure is in you, and we want you to know that. <laughs> so you failed. <laughs> they can make a your dad, your dad, your dad, and out of this world. Oh, thank God. My name's Toby. Are you here to save me? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Can you take me to Crisp? You should be down by the sea rocks. I can't wait to see him. We found Toby. Toby. <laughs> oh, you're just carrying Toby? Having a human I'm hostage really is a great apocalyptic oh, resource. Toby has a mustache. Okay, I thought Toby's I thought Toby's eyes were closed and it had little dot eyebrows, but his dot oh. eyebrows are his eyes. And there's d oh, or his d uh. I thought he was painted like a geisha. Uh no, it's just, it's just got cheeks. I was gonna say I was gonna say Toby's so pretty. <laughs> I take, but I take it back. Ah! Yeah, fuck you, Toby. Your dad, your dad, your dad. It's your turn to get world. necked next. <laughs> uh, I need to deal with Brad. Shit. <laughs> stay dad, stay dad, stay dad. And out of this world. Rit that spider. Meaningless trash. I have like a Don't shitty talk about my dad like that. I don't want to use those though. <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness. I like to sit in the back. Uh... The Adams. Keys. Yay! Now, this would have really changed this playthrough. It's, yeah! Uh, I'm so relieved. Uh, <laughs> Do I really just keep getting away with this? He can't keep getting away with this! One of these times you're not gonna. I'm scared. I'm One scared. of these things is not like the other. One of these is that, 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 that. Your place <laughs> tender. <laughs> That's a <my> one. <laughs> <laughs> what if I say that I'll never surrender? You know, I don't think I don't think like ro like Robot Chicken, right? It was a very hit or miss show for me. 
But Bye, friend. the one bit that I loved was the one of these kids not like the other, one of these kids is dead. And <laughs> it has like four kids dance, three kids dancing and one kid laying on the floor. And it was like a two second bit and I lost my mind over it. <laughs> It's like that's that's the thing about a sketch show is like you have it's a very like you have a lot of chances and if you get it even a couple of times it'll be memorable to someone. You're pretty so. much just better off having other people show send you the good clips than watching it yourself. Yeah, like <laughs> is SNL werewolf bar mitzvah? I don't I don't know. <laughs> SNL. I, I don't know the origin of that. I don't think I I can't even really think of any SNL skits to be honest. Yeah. I, I wasn't a, I'm not a big. SNL person. Every time I've seen it, it was agony, which is a strong incentive never to watch it again. And one of those times was Elon Musk. And you would think that it was me, like, choosing, oh man, I'm gonna see the stupid Elon Musk episode. No, I just coincidentally went to someone's house while Elon, the fucking Elon Musk sketches were playing. I'm like, fuck, I guess I'm seeing this. All right. I, I, I honestly am kind of. It's like my first I SNL was episode kind of in like curious, five like... years on accident. I forgot who it was might have been Drew Gooden but somebody did like a thing where they were they were gauging if it was ever funny and so what they did is they watched every season uh. and basically did a calculation of like how many times they thought something was funny because because there's like this m oh what the you failed my alarm company calling me again your alarm company yeah but no, there's this common misconception that like uh, it's not that SNL got less funny, but <laughs> his argument was that it kind of was just consistently not funny. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I've I've never. It's been mostly agony every time I've ever sat through any like, like, of it. There's been a consistent like up and down. I got like like some episodes are good, some episodes are bad, some cast members are good, some cast members are bad, and it just kind of fluctuates in a natural way. And it never really was like fantastic at any point. It never really was. Uh, terrible at any point. It just kind of has been like consistently in the middle because like when you look back at something from far away, you're only going to remember the things that you really liked. You're not going to remember like every boring skit you had to sit through to get through the good ones. You just gonna remember the good ones. Yeah. Like so look, it looks really good from far away because you forgot all those other ones already, you know? Yeah. That, that's very much the experience of being a Doctor Who fan is a uh... You, you remember all of the really cool stuff and then but there's like entire seasons of like hmm I don't know about this entire thing like the, the entire last season that just happened was entirely bad from front to back and it's like well never watching that one again going back to through looping between like yeah, fucking waters of Mars and don't blink and midnight and so on and never coming back to here well, I'm sorry to hear that, Keith. Uh, do, do, do. Recently, like not too long ago, I was, at a, I was at a place in which there were boats, and I saw a boat called the TARDIS, and I thought of you. <laughs> oh, that's, I was like, that's a funny name, too. Uh, that, like, that's, that is very cute that somebody did that. Yeah, I showed you one episode of that show, because I'm like, this body horror thing is kind of fun. This might be fun to show. And then the whole episode was like, mm, it's fine. <laughs> that was not a great episode. The, but it was coincidentally like a weird amount of body horror stuff, but also specifically the exact thing that you had been talking about, about how like all the, all the plastics that are like seeping into our bodies and poisoning us that we can't escape. Because you kept, you kept bringing up that one documentary. <laughs> yeah, like, fucking... so it, was like, it was like weirdly specific that the video was, the, the episode was basically about that. Yeah, the one on, on non-sick pans. <laughs> I just fucking... Yeah, and BPA. I thought I had cleared things and I had not. Wrong I was. But do, no, some someday I'll actually show you good episodes. <laughs> I bet there's like a list that I could go through. But uh, actually trying to be a fan of the show and ca and and catch up on like the dozens of seasons, like there's like a dozen seasons, not counting the original run. <laughs> like just the reboot seasons are already even going forever. It's just like a lot to go through. I just went to where I'm already at. <laughs> Well, sometimes you find out that the place that you are is where you really needed to be all along. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fucking never. It's so dark on that screen. Alright, now it's a memory test. Can I find my way back to the Yakuza to get fucking murdered again? Bamboo room! Bamboo room! I've got so many zones that I've cleared and I still need to beat any of the bosses at the end of them. 
See, you know what I like is I like Luigi's Mansion, where whenever you cleared a room, the lights would turn on, and so you could really track your progress and you know which places you wouldn't get bombarded yeah. with with uh, random like enemies. I thought that was like really a really nice system, and as a kid, it actually made me feel like accomplished and safe because I was yeah. like, oh, this is a lit up room, like I'm okay here. And, and then when they turn all all the lights Yo, halfway through, it really scared me. Don't belong here outside. Or time to go. I'm gonna fight you. Wrong move. <laughs> Shit. Do you guys have a sail? Is it like your big towel? See, he's like he's like a Super Saiyan. He's floating, so it's like a bad sign. It's not great. It's not. This, none of this goes well for me. If anyone likely. floats in anime, <laughs> like it's real bad. It's pretty bad. It's a bad sign. I don't think I have a multi-target attack as this dude. Home run head slide. Good dance. Oh, Ooh, there foes! we go. There we go. Holy shit, bro! You leveled up. Sleeper holds only one guy. I'm gonna yuck you. Makes you wish you had. Uh, you. Makes you wish you had Farty right now, because he would just run over all of them with this truck. Yeah. But he misses a lot. Yeah. He's not very good. I'm gonna try to make him stop attacking me. He's the scary one. Stop it, you're scary. Stop doing water. He was a restraining order fish. against you. He watered my fish. And I didn't like it. Oof, fallen. Oof, fallen. Fallen. Fa oh my god. Like, four of them fell over. Brad's just gonna keep doing that. I think if you fall, you lose a whole turn. That's his, that's his power now. Is, is this... Fuck. Brad fell over. No! <laughs> My only weakness. I mean, not having arms probably does make it a little bit harder to get back up. No. You kind of gotta waddle your way up like a okay. turtle. My hubris. I can get up without using my arms, though, but that's a sign of uh, good health. I say. don't think he's stunned. I'm gonna keep trying to stun him. I don't know how many of my attacks are multi target. I feel like it's rare. Yo, Jose. Stop group chopping me. Brad's I'm not up for a group chopping. I'm only available for private chops. <laughs> One more head slide. Please make everybody lose their turns because it's the only thing that I think makes us live through any of this. I'm gonna yuck you. I'm gonna yuck your yums. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> I'm gonna yuck I, your yums. I don't like that. You don't like that sentence? No, I don't like that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody not on fire? Why is everybody not on fire? I've been trying to make everybody on fire. It's a really specific part of my strategy. I, I've, been, I've not been using his water attacks. I don't know why they're not on fire. He's done. I should stun additional peeps. Uh, sleep upsetting confusion. Well, you kind of you started attacking the first guy. You might as well keep going after that guy, right? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to apply uh, damage over time to as many people as I can because it does the most damage collectively. This is just, there's just so much health to try to get through right now. Well, that's a lot of fallen. That's a lot of fallen. A crit and not a fallen. So five people fell over and one person got crit by one brat attack. That's some shit right if there. If you think of it like this way, if you, th if you think of like how much damage you're collectively doing to these people and how much health you have. Everybody that you ever fight in this game, you have um, so much more. <laughs> yeah. They have so much more health than you. Because because the amount oh, of yeah. damage you do sometimes in like a couple moves is way more than you even own. It's big strugs. Like, like you hit a person and they, they lose like, you know, like a thousand HP, but you have, you know, like a thousand seven hundred. You hit them twice, you think that like they would like all these people, would if they were us, we, they, we would be dead. For oh, sure. Yeah. Every game is completely unfair. <laughs> Everyone's just suffering from different stuff. Which is good. It is one of the interesting <laughs> things about game, at least I think, because I've never DM'd, but I think in a game like Dungeons and Dragons, like everyone's kind of on the same. Everyone, everyone plays by the same rules. You, you do, you'll do. you inevitably fight people that are way stronger than you, but it's because they have to fight multiple people. So it's like it's like four of you against one dude or a group of dudes. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of encounters are you fighting an enemy group that fights that follows the same rules. 
and then boss fights are stronger because they have to be able to fight an entire group of people and whatnot. You guys have status effects, dicks? It's somebody to die. Just like for me. <laughs> it's, 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 it's therapeutic. Ow. Look, it would be it would be good for the morale of my team if one of yeah. you guys just peeled over. Could one of you stop living? Hey! Why did he die? Well, he's the one that got crit, remember? Yeah, but it's like literally not but, where any of my efforts are going. But if he crit, that means that makes me think, not to jinx it, but the rest of these guys are pretty close. Because he was that, that one crit shouldn't have made that big of a difference. I, just, I gotta give up on status effects just beat people in the face, apparently. There's, uh, there's nothing sticking. Finger beam. But hitch? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gosh. Use water gun! Fish man with a hat? On Har tsunami. Harvey danger fish? Ah, <gasps> uh, the boss is fucking. Well, I was gonna terrible. say, I, I said I could have guessed. Like I said, he's floating, Keith. He's yeah, but I also want him. To, he's probably got the scariest attack, so I want him to die first. Salvage, savage elbow three. That's like three elbows. That's like a one and a half men. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Legal jargon. I was watching some Charlie Sheen babble the other day just because you know, every once in a while I'd like, I was remember that time when Charlie Sheen was on a bender and just saying all that stuff for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, but it got it got to like a high a highlight at a certain point. And that, They're that was, dying in a random order. I never even I'd never even clicked on anyone on the right side of the screen. <laughs> they, they just have different health. health <clears throat> but tiger blood and Adonis DNA and all that stuff. You know, something's wrong with him. No, he was, he was on a lot he's of not, drugs, my dude. He's got problems. But, you know, the thing the thing that was kind of, like, I mean, not to say that that was, like, I wish the best for Charlie Sheen. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Uh, he was always a... Fuck it, why he not? He was always upbeat. Good luck, bro. He, was, he wasn't, like, um, he was always, like, pretty enthusiastic with his... He was on drugs, but he wasn't, like, uh, he just was, he just was real pepped all the time. <laughs> Made for a lot of fun interviews. <gasps> Growl is sized. Now he can't even attack. Just have to slide tackling every turn. <laughs> That's all I do. Uh, do I heal? I feel like I might make it. And if, and if, I, if I don't have to heal, then I can just heal it for free and keep these items for when I need them. I think the the likelihood universe hammer tend to miss but not this time am i right please please <laughs> please oh he's dead ah he said not this time no one listens to me why doesn't anybody listen to me things would go so much better if you listen to me all right time to focus attacks. yeah now you can just we're, we're just on one guy mm -hmm. What was that? He's bleeding from all the paper cuts. Him with a gun. You have to have a <laughs> Why lot. Why didn't we think of that sooner? <laughs> you have to have a lot of paper cuts for it to. Uh, weak weak point. point. What was it? What was that? What was this? Like fireball, point? apparently. Like for you to be bleeding out from paper cuts, it'd have to be quite a lot of paper cuts. Yeah. So that's a. Uh, your, your paper cut came from somebody's fucking science project board. <laughs> oh, nice. it's like it's a bunch of those. You fit your uh, face against a, a fucking paper samurai. What are those called? Death. Construction boards or whatever. I'm... Yeah, construction paper. The or no, construction no, 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 paper. Yeah. It's like the ones that fold out. Yeah. yeah construction paper. I haven't yes. had to buy one of those in quite yeah, a long no. time. Whoa, we oh, flattened into the ground. <laughs> everybody, everybody level up. Do, 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 do. Rocket impaler. Tends to miss. <laughs> Fuck you. Tends to miss. They're all gone! They're just trying to take a bath! Granted, they shouldn't be so territorial about their bath. <laughs> What's the deal with territorial baths? <laughs> Can't use any of these items. Cool.
cool. No fights, just progress or something? Please? What's that? It's a sail, a large fan. Oh, wizard! Oh, genius! Yeah. I will now develop a parasocial relationship with this fan. Oh my goodness. Uh, Did they tell us that we were gonna drop a fan? I didn't. No. I, that was just a nice surprise. It's, it's just we gotta assemble a bunch of things to make a boat. And so I mean, I figured we'd get something these, out of this. Yeah. I just didn't know what. There's just a reveal after each boss fight what the item was that was made that made the boss fight worth it. Well, except for the Native American who made it very yeah. clear what you were killing him for, which makes it I pretty get, bad. I don't need to fucking find my way back out of here. I can cheat. Yay! Wee. And it's cheating in the way that isn't even cheating. Yeah, it's just the game. But like that that's a It's an actual saver. mechanic. My goodness. See now and then you could save every time before you ah. And then if you do lose a person, you can just reset. Yeah, and then I can save again. And then everyone has full health. And I can diminish my use of items, and fucking this changes the entire game. Yay! <laughs> Accidental challenge mode on a game warrior that's hard. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I let the episode run a little long because we need to accomplish something, but we eventually we got two bosses did some down. Good stuff. We did it! Yay! See you next time. Adios. Ah. Ah. <laughs>